YouTube, welcome back to another how to ski tutorial video. In this video, we're gonna look at how we can ski variable off-piece conditions with some consistency and some fluidity, a little bit more control in some of those challenging, chopped up conditions. Let's start to look at the skiing. Firstly, we need to find something consistent across the board so that we can work and adapt to the variable conditions, right, while having something measurable that we can always come back to as a measurement of success. And that's gonna be a short turn. So we're gonna set up a short turn that is within a groomer width wide. So that is within, you know, four to four and a half meters in width we want the turn to be round. So if we want a round turn, that means we have to establish some edge grip, okay? I want edge to come in, good grip to come in somewhere around the full line and through the bottom part of the turn, okay? And it is not a carved turn, so we will be steering the ski as well. The ski will be steered through the arc, through the turn, and it's trying to be linked, consistent, flowing. Okay, so that's our outcome, right, of a short turn. And we're gonna now take that into all of the different variable conditions that we have. Whenever we step into any type of variable off-piste condition, doesn't matter which one it is, the first question we have to ask ourselves is what is the ski going to do in this snow? How will the ski interact with the snow that I am standing on? In this video, we're gonna look at firmer off-piste variable conditions. We have little undulations in the slope. We also have some chalky patches of snow. We also have some death cookies. We also have uh, wind compacted powder. So in this condition here, what we're challenged with is how the ski can maintain grip or be steered and how we can control its path through a round turn. That's what's really challenged here because when we find the chalky snow, the way the ski will interact, it will be much easier to grip and you'll be able to steer and control it. But then when you make another turn and you find some death cookies, it's gonna be, your, your ski will not penetrate into anything. You're sort of, you're on marbles, you're on ball bearings. And so the ski will slip or skid out from underneath you very easily, similar to that on ice. And so when we also find the compact or wind compacted powder, it's really challenging to steer the ski even at all. So you might be in the middle of a turn and you'll go through a wind, you know, compacted piece of powder and your ski will just run straight on you. It won't, it won't turn anymore. And so these, in these conditions here, you're really challenged by the variability of, of how you can manage your edging and your steering. So how can we improve in these variable conditions? How can we stay more centered? How can we manage to maintain grip and turn shape when we're skiing through death cookies and chalk and compacted powder? How can we improve within these variable conditions that I've mentioned? The concept I wanna introduce is a simple one. It's just trying to keep your feet in an imaginary box underneath your body okay so how you can line this up is you can square your ski tips up so have your ski tips on the same line keep them level okay your bindings your toe piece of your bindings will be level then and you're going to try and keep your feet within the width of you know hip width no wider than hip width apart and you're trying to maintain that same relationship that same alignment of the feet of the bindings of the boots of the skis as you're skiing now we're in the box, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna give you an example of how we can generate a bit more of a feeling internally, okay, with the muscles in our legs, through our core, of what it feels like to maintain the box as you're skiing. So I've got my volunteer, this is Emma, a friend of mine, I've helped her with her skiing over the years, and I'm just gonna take her downhill ski, and I'm just gonna shuffle it backwards and forwards. 
And what Emma's going to do as she's trying to generate these feelings is, first of all, she can relax and just let the skis be moved and the box will, will split, will separate. And then she's going to engage the muscles in her outside inside leg to keep the ski tips level, to keep the ski tips square as I continue to shuffle the outside ski backwards and forwards. And all she'll do is maintain that box alignment as she's being moved, which will allow, which will give her feelings inside both of the legs, inside the core of, of what the box should feel like when we then take it skiing. What we're gonna do now is just take this box concept for a ski, but we're gonna control some of the variables to begin with, and that is by doing it on the piste in a hockey stop. So just one turn at a time. So you just steer the skis, roll the skis up onto edge, come to a stop. And the goal is to try and maintain this same box alignment, square ski tips, feet sort of level and square underneath your body. Try and keep this box with the feet, each time you perform the hockey stop. Once we're feeling confident with the box concept, we've got a bit of a feel for it. The next step will be to start to move some development, some focus into the upper body as having a stable and controlled or disciplined upper body is vital to be able to ski variable conditions successfully in the short term that we're working in. And so what we're gonna do is again, a little simple focus, which is, your inside pole must be lifted or elevated off the snow as you perform your short turn. I'll say that again, your inside pole must come off the snow when you are performing your short turn. You can still pole plant, but once you've sort of struck the snow or the ground with the pole, you will then lift it up, elevate it away from the snow so it does not drag on your inside. Why we're doing this is because it helps promote more of a sort of, let's call it like naturally angulated and sort of well-disciplined and balanced upper body, which will help you stay stacked up on top of the outside ski when you're in the variable conditions. And then once you're feeling confident, you're sort of got some feelings in the upper body and the core, then put it back into skiing, jump into a variable slope and give it a go. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed the content that's been shared today. If you have, then hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Let me know when you try this stuff on snow, how it's helped, what, your, what has your experience been with the concepts I've presented here today. If you'd like to take a personal approach to develop your skiing, then please reach out, send me an email and we can book in your experience today. Thank you very much, see you soon.